G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. I thought I'd just drop a quick line today to discuss the prospect of this wildcard weekend that seems to be doing the loop in media circles at the moment. So if you're unaware, wildcard weekend, the basic idea of it is to place a weekend before the finals where 7th versus 10th would take place, 8th would play 9th, and the winners of those games would go through to the actual final series starting the weekend after. So this has been talked about in the past, it pops up every 6 to 12 months I reckon, uh, but this is probably the most concrete indication that the AFL is actually considering it and it might be implemented as soon as next year. So we're going to go through the article where they announce it. There's a couple of little things to consider and I'll broadly give my thoughts on the prospect of this entering the competition. I think there's pros and cons to it. So a radical change to the AFL finals format is, in, is seemingly incoming but there's a massive twist that could upset the apple cart. The AFL commission will meet at the end of the season to potentially ratify it uh, and that could be introduced as early as next year. So it says a wild card round, which would see 8th play 10th and 7th play 9th. Oh, sorry, I've got that the other way around. 8th play 10th. You'd think that the higher team would take the lower ranked opponent. That's possibly a mistake in the reporting or it's just a logical flaw in the decision making. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. I think that's odd. But it would take place in the bye weekend between the end of the home and away season and start of finals. However, in a twist that would likely leave participating teams displeased, the AFL is considering selling the pair of fixtures to the highest bidding city. On potentially taking wildcard weekend to market, AFL um, CEO Andrew Dillon told Seven News it was a possibility. So that's coming from Andrew Dillon. This is one of the alternatives that we discussed with the CEOs. Again, it would be part of the consultation, blah, blah, blah. While the introduction of a wildcard concept could create extra content and revenue streams for the league, as well as adding finals chances for lower ranked finishing sides, it would also afford an advantage to first sixth place finishers. So what they mean by that is if you finish in the top six, you get that pre-finals buy, which will not be available if you finish seventh, eighth, ninth, or 10th, which I suppose at least you know, establishes some integrity, I suppose. So we'll keep going through the article before I give my thoughts, um, but there is a twist. Look at the current ladder, they're all Victorian teams. The AFL is looking at the possibility of selling those t uh, those games to outside of Victoria. Whether it's Perth, Adelaide's had enough, he reckons, because the gather around New South Wales or Queensland, this is on the table. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's definitely on the table. I laughed at this comment. If that's the case, get ready for the WA teams to climb up that ladder and try and get that game, because they've been talking about travel allowances and different things to help stuff. So they haven't got gather around, Maybe they could get the wildcard weekend. So two things make me laugh about this. First of all, Fremantle is well and truly higher than this. Like Fremantle is genuinely in a top four race. So he's really just talking about West Coast climbing the ladder. I just laugh that he kind of forgot where Fremantle is on the ladder. And to be honest, I try and forget they exist as well. The second one is the travel allowances. Well, how would us West Coast finishing higher, you know, finishing 10th and playing a home wildcard weekend. How does that help the travel situation for the rest of the season? <laughs> like it's just an extra game that we'd be playing. It doesn't actually help the issue at all. Okay, so let's discuss like what this would look like in practicality. So it would have Western Bulldogs versus, well, Essendon and Carlton versus Hawthorne. I think that's an interesting one. See, when I first looked at it, if you, if it, if you look at it as Western Bulldogs versus Hawthorne, right? One way to look at this is that it ensures that the teams that are vying for finals play each other in the final round. Because, you know, in theory, like, you fixture the round 24 at the start of the season, right? So we don't know how good the final round of fixtures is going to be. So in theory, you're just creating a round where you know that the games are going to be good. There's something to play for. But let's say if it was the Western Bulldogs versus Hawthorne, if they played in a wildcard weekend, Western Bulldogs has 18% on Hawthorne. So if Hawthorne beat Western Bulldogs, it's not truly like they are earning that spot. They're just beating them in another final. And that is effectively what this is. It's just an extension of the final eight to the final 10 and slapping a new title on it, Wildcard Weekend, which I believe is not going to be the name they end up going with, is literally just pretending it's not finals. It is finals. So what we're talking about here is the very real idea and the notion that the top eight is no longer the finals. It's now the top 10. It's just that top six now has an extra benefit. The downside to this is for the teams competing, you know, hypothetically, if the Bulldogs finish seventh, they have no advantage of being in seventh versus the teams that finish ninth or tenth. Again, I feel like they should be playing tenth, but if, even if it's ninth, there's no benefit to finishing in ninth, seventh than there is in ninth, considering, you know, these games are potentially going to be neutral. I know that nothing's set in stone. But if Western Bulldogs, you know, let's say they were playing Adelaide where there's a true home ground advantage there, they wouldn't get a home game against Adelaide. They'd be playing them at Optus Stadium, hypothetically. So that's an integrity problem. 
there's the general idea of what do you think of more than half the league being able to qualify for finals. Now, the strongest argument against it is this doesn't feel right. It seems like it's too easy to make finals and it takes away from the sanctity, I suppose, if that's the word, probably not. It just diminishes how hard it is to, to play finals and therefore maybe diminishes some value. But other than that, maybe there isn't a, a practical reason against extending the top eight to the top 10. It's just that it doesn't feel right. I think playing them as neutral games does take away some integrity, like I said, with the Bulldogs um, hypothetically playing the Gold Coast Suns. If they play that at Optus Stadium, the Bulldogs had absolutely no benefit from finishing seventh. For the viewer, I think it's fantastic. Like, there's no doubt that that would be an exciting thing to tune into. We might not like the idea of it, but we're sure as hell going to tune in if it becomes a thing as soon as next year. And as a content creator, I selfishly think, well, that's good for, you know, engagement and creating an extra week of finals is, is good for me. And then I think of myself as a football fan and as a man who's a very passionate fan of his team, I, I find myself just wanting the best for my football club more so than the league in general. So what benefit would this have if we extend the league or the final series from eight teams to 10 teams, more teams play finals? Well, there is a benefit of them, you know, getting some finals experience. So hypothetically, if you finish 10th, then you still get some finals experience. So like Hawthorne's a good example here of a young side with um, God knows how many players have played finals in that team. It's a pretty young and new side. And if they hypothetically miss finals, which, you know, is probably 50-50 at this point, that would be true under the current system, but they could finish 10th and get some valuable finals experience. Now, again, I know they're technically not going to call these games finals. I presume it won't contribute to finals records. But like I said, they're just slapping a different name on it. This is essentially an extension of the final series. So on balance, what do I think of it? I suppose I don't really mind. Um, like I said, I think optically it's weird to have more than half the league essentially play finals. Does it create a better skept uh, spectacle? Yes. Does it probably benefit each of our teams individually? You know, the, the carrot there dangling a little bit closer if we can play finals and get valuable finals experience. You know, th that ticks all the boxes. I have some issues around integrity. I don't think the game should be neutral. I know that there's going to be a money-making opportunity and an opportunity to get into different markets or if they put the games in Queensland or New South Wales, I, I think that's probably going to happen. But I think that's a problem because especially, you know, two things, there's no benefit from finishing seventh to, you know, ninth or 10th. If they proceed with the way it's reported and seventh plays ninth and eighth plays 10th, that means it's better to finish 10th than it is to finish ninth because you are playing technically the lower ranked opponent. So it's wacky, it's weird, it smells of Americanization and it smells of money making, but at the same time, you know, I'm not against necessarily us modeling what we do on other sports. In fact, I think us modeling a lot of what we do on American sports has actually been beneficial, like the salary cap and drafts. I, I think that's all good. I suppose, you know, my feelings against it are probably just that it seems a little bit jarring to have more than half the league play finals. That, that feels weird, but at the same time, does it interrupt too much of what we've got going on? Does it create a better spectacle? I think probably it's not too bad, as long as they get the integrity piece right, which I've covered in this video. To be honest, to, to create another week of finals and, and do or die clashes, I don't really have a strong argument against that. So let me know in the comments, maybe I'm missing something obvious here. Um, I think I've covered all of my thoughts broadly. They need to get the bits and pieces of it correct. Bearing in mind also, um, eight teams missing finals will soon become nine with Tasmania entering the competition, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.